Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative, and one question that we get asked all the time is, does phantom power improve the sound quality from a dynamic microphone? So we set up this test, we have a mixer in front of me, and I'm gonna show you and let you be the judge to see if adding phantom power to a microphone increases the quality of the microphone. So we're using a Shure SM58, we have it set up so we're recording with our laptop here, and right now the EQ is flat, everything's flat, we've just set up the gain, and we're not using phantom power. So now I'm gonna pause for a second and add phantom power to this microphone. So now the microphone has phantom power. Do you notice any type of difference with the sound quality with this microphone? Now, unless I'm missing something, you should not have heard a difference between the two phantom power on and phantom power off. I'm just gonna turn it off again. Now, the reason for that is the very crude way of explaining it is that a dynamic microphone is powered by an internal magnet. No amount of external electricity will make that diaphragm, voice coil, or magnet give you a better quality sound. Now, phantom power is just used for condenser microphones. It has nothing to do with the dynamic microphone. So. But on the contrary, it is possible to damage some microphones, especially ribbon microphones, by adding phantom power when they don't need it. So it is best practice to always turn it off when you don't need phantom power. I felt pretty comfortable doing this test because I'm using the Bulletproof Shure SM58 that can be driven over by a truck, thrown in an ocean, and pulled out, and it'll still work. So surely this microphone can handle 48 volts of external power, and if you can still hear me, then it has handled the 48 volts of phantom power. So to answer the question, no. Adding phantom power will not improve the sound quality on any dynamic microphone. It's a completely different technology that phantom power will not make any impact whatsoever, but for a small fraction of dynamic microphones, it is possible that you might damage the microphone or break the microphone by adding phantom power when it's not required. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <music>